Hello and welcome to this month's edition of the Good Newspaper Review. It's April and t- today we're going to look at a couple of stories. Uh, one, how do you manage um, in a crisis when your child's really hurt? How can God help you? We can look at that. And the other one is how do we break the cycle of hurt and hate that we see all around us? Well, forgiveness is the way and Jesus showed the way how to do that. So we're going to talk about that as well. So stick with us. And I've got Mark here today. So, Mark, how are you doing? And uh, what are you going to talk about today? I'm doing good. I'm looking forward to just giving out this review of the good newspaper. Uh, the, it's it's the first story on the front page was one of the articles that really caught my eye. It is the story of a seven year old boy who was run over by a car. But one of the twists of the story is uh, the car that ran over this seven year old boy it was his parents. It was a tragic accident that happened. And in, in, in that situation, that's a time when many people begin to question God or even turn away from God. But here's a story that's worth reading because uh, these people said, God is with us every step of the way, despite the fact that it was them that ran over their own son. They kept faith in God. I also thought as I began to read the article, this was going to be a story where they described their son's agony and suffering, their own emotional turmoil, but it ends happily because through prayer, uh, through medical intervention, uh, the son is healed. After the boy was hit, he was unable to sit, stand, walk, talk, eat, or drink. And the healing did begin but it wasn't complete. That aspect of the story is is very welcoming to me because it shows that, well, as the parents say in in the article, our suffering is ongoing. So it hasn't ended yet, the suffering, the turmoil, the agony, uh, the recovery and the healing that the the boy still needs is, is ongoing. But even though the story does not have that kind of a happy ending, Uh, There is happiness in this story because, as the parents said, God is with us every step of the way. It's an article worth reading because we all suffer tragedy, either tragedy that we hear about from afar or tragedy that affects us, large or small. And it's not a time where you must turn away from God. You can question God, but the truth is very evident in this story, and it'll be evident in your life. If you believe in God, if you believe in God through Jesus Christ, the promise is God will be with you as he was with these parents every step of the way. It's worth getting a digital copy of the Good Newspaper or getting a physical copy, reading this story and other stories to encourage you to raise questions and maybe to answer some questions that you have about God and his place in this world of suffering. Over to you, Colin. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, the story I'm going to look at is uh, this story of forgiveness. The mum who forgave her daughter's killer or killers. This is from the uh, Columbine Massacre 25 years ago. Um, It's one of the worst school shootings in the US. And basically what happened, uh, these these two people went along to doing mass murder, killing 12 students and a teacher at uh, this high school in America. And Rachel Scott was the first student attacked. When the two gunmen approached Rachel and asked if she believed in God, she said yes and they shot her and they saw that she wasn't wasn't dead and they went back and asked her again do you still believe in god and she said yes they shot her again now how does a mother forgive that well this rachel's mother uh, beth um said that uh, one one thing she was willing to do her daughter was to die defending her faith and and she talks about here that uh, she's been able to forgive the killer she said forgiveness is, is me saying what you did to me is not okay but I choose to forgive you because I'm not going to live in the pain of that for the rest of my life what powerful words that is I mean she goes on to say that the the Lord Jesus commands us to forgive and she knows that her daughter Rachel would have wanted her to forgive and it says here that forgiveness is about you not them it's giving you the key to unlock the emotional and physical prison that the violator put you in so I don't know how, what's happening for you in your life. Perhaps you've you've got a situation. It's really hard to forgive. Well, who's really suffering? You're suffering. It's like a prison. And the only way to get free is to forgive. 
And if you believe in Jesus, if you ask him for help, he will help you in that. Mark, over to you. So forgiveness, a great theme, a great way to live life, empowered by God. Get this edition of the Good News Paper. Read about forgiveness, read about suffering, God's place in suffering, and other articles, which I'm sure will encourage you. God bless you.